continue to fight like this. We are all alone in this universe. Nobody's going to help us. What happened here? The area is definitely silent. Inform the commander immediately. Hurry up. From this moment on, everyone must be on high alert and extremely cautious. There is no room for mistakes. We will not allow anyone to fall victim. Module activated. Calibration. was the cutoff point before uh, 4.17 I think. Zima. Sauron. Uh -huh. Seems so similar. So you've made it this far. The Council's doors are finally open to you. Great power requires great sacrifices. After your attack on the Company, the negative impact that the Council's faction had against you was eradicated. Some factions that feared the Company now fear the WRA instead. But this is the outcome we were expecting and wanted. This way you'll now be able to enter the Council as an observer. Remember, this is very important. Understanding the Council's priorities and sensitivities is crucial. We are entering a new era. WRA and other factions need to find their place within the inter-system power dynamics. The alliances that will be formed here, the information that will be shared, and the decisions that will be made can deeply affect the future of WRA. Council meetings can be intense, while inside, they will press you hard. In such situations, staying calm and responding with WRA's benefits in mind is very important. I'd advise you not to underestimate my experiences. The Council is about to start. Let's start moving. Ladies and gentlemen, the Galactic Council meeting is about to begin. Please take your seats and maintain silence as we prepare to commence the session. 
Today, we have the honor of welcoming a new faction to our galaxy council. They come from a distant world, Earth, and this marks their first appearance here. Please allow them to introduce themselves and inform us of their intentions. I must object to this. These Earthlings are nothing but barbarians. We have reports of their faction initiating wars in our own world, causing destruction and chaos. How can we trust them to be a part of this council? Esteemed council members, I apologize. But we cannot ignore the serious attacks that Earthlings have launched against one of the factions in the past. These attacks seem to represent a hostile attitude and could jeopardize the purpose of this council. How do we trust them? You are correct. But we should not disregard the potential strength and contributions that new factions can bring to our galaxy. Each faction has its unique abilities and resources, contributing to the diversity and richness of our galaxy. The newcomers might bring energy sources, scientific discoveries, or diplomatic skills that can enhance our galaxy's well-being. Looking forward, we should seek a solution that serves the purpose of this council, and we should evaluate the potential of Earthlings in that direction. Let us not forget that new factions can bring diversity and different perspectives to the galaxy. I must agree with House Darker. Allowing Earthlings into our council puts our stability at risk. Their aggressive tendencies cannot be denied, and we should prioritize the safety of our galaxy over diversity. While caution is essential, we should also remember the value of inclusivity. Throughout history, different factions have contributed positively to our galaxy in numerous ways. By shutting the door to Earthlings, we might miss out on potential benefits and innovations. Let's establish strict rules and guidelines to ensure peace and cooperation while giving them a chance to prove their intentions. Please, let us maintain decorum in this council chamber. We are here to engage in constructive dialogue. Now, may I inquire if our distinguished guests from Earth have anything they wish to share, or any questions for the council? Of course, everyone deserves a chance. I believe having the things among us will make the galaxy more stable. That's enough. According to our laws, an invited faction can actively participate in meetings. My esteemed General Zima Shuren has invited them to stay here. But recognizing them as a galaxy faction requires a majority vote. This should be the subject of another meeting. First, I'd like to open the agenda with the ongoing conflict between House Bieber and House Yogan. I'll now give the floor to House Bieber to present their case. This being council members, House Yogan has not only caused immense suffering but also threatens the very existence of my house. They have ruthlessly destroyed my family and all that I hold thee. The actions of House Yoko leave us with no choice but to fight for our survival. Council members, I must vehemently deny House Bebe's claims. It was, in fact, House Bebe that took the life of my daughter. We cannot accept these baseless accusations. Are you currently considering sitting down for a peace settlement? No! We will fight until one of us wipes out from this galaxy! We will now discuss the validity of the reasons for this war. After deliberation, it is within the legal framework of the Council to allow the continuation of the conflict until a new basis for reconciliation is found. However, it is also necessary to form a committee to investigate the claims made by both parties.
After thorough discussion, it has been determined that the continuation of the conflict until a new basis for reconciliation is found wise with council law. Additionally, a committee will be established to investigate the claims made by both parties. Now, let us move on to the second agenda item. There has been an ongoing epidemic that we have been trying to keep under wraps as much as possible. But it won't be long before citizens of the galaxy start raising concerns about these deaths. We have been diligently researching this disease, which we have temporarily named Uranovirus. We believe it's crucial to provide information about it to the galaxy. Now, in our efforts to combat this disease, we have assembled a team of experts. However, we have not yet reached a conclusive solution. This disease poses a significant threat to our galaxy, and I want to emphasize its gravity. I grant all houses the authority to work tirelessly in finding a solution as soon as possible. We cannot afford to underestimate the danger it poses to our citizens. It's worth noting that this virus emerged after the arrival of the Earthers to our galaxy. While the cause is still uncertain, the time raises questions that we must address in our investigations. By the way, do not have any casualties on your side. Please make an effort to gather more information about the disease by reviewing the Pulse Council reports and ensure more careful monitoring from now on, and report every detail to the Council. Our next agenda item pertains to the economy and education. Yes, as indicated in the reports, the increase in the education rate appears. With that, I would like to express my appreciation for the active participation in today's council meeting. Your insights and contributions are invaluable as we work together for the betterment of our galaxy. Thank you, and until our next meeting... Let us continue to strive for progress and unity. Truly impressive work back there. Your patience and strength were evident. I'm sure everyone was as impressed as I was. Oh, sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. I am Valora, daughter of King Falren. In many ways, we are the same. We both follow in the footsteps of our fathers, shaped by their destinies. I've been following you and your faction for quite some time. Your name has been a frequent topic in Falren headquarters lately. It's truly a shame that we have found ourselves at odds from time to time. The Falrens and you, Earthlings, share the same genetic pool. That's why we are so alike. We are not like the others. We look the same. We think the same. Our similarities are more than just skin deep. If we stand together, our combined strength could be unparalleled. Imagine what we could achieve side by side. The unity of our kind could bring forth a new era of power and prosperity for both our peoples. I've long admired your tenacity and spirit. There's something about you that resonates deeply within me. We are kindred spirits. Forged by the trials of our fathers and the burdens of their legacies. I know the pain of losing a parent. My heart truly aches for you. Your father's death was a tragedy that rippled through the stars. Even though you never knew him, his absence has shaped your life in profound ways. It's a sorrow we both carry, a bond that ties us even closer. There's more to your father's death than what you've been told. I can't simply explain it with words. The weight of it, the reality of it, must be seen to be believed. 
I need to show you. The place where it happened. Where your father and your mother met their end. I can take you there. Only by seeing it with your own eyes can you truly understand the gravity of what transpired. It wasn't just your parents who suffered. All earthlings either perished or were enslaved. Trust me, this is something you need to witness for yourself. Meet me at the Zalandria settlement on Udrita planet in the Tenchi system. Trust me, it will be worth it.